Ukraine may launch offensive this year, a lot will depend on the weather. According to the Reserve Colonel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and analyst Petro Chernik, receiving military aid packages from Western partners will allow the Ukrainian military to launch a counteroffensive already this year. He noted that, first of all, Western partners should permit Ukraine to use their weapons for strikes on military and strategic targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. If we were allowed to use ATACMS missiles to strike the concentration of troops, it would be most useful in the northern direction. Opposite the Sumy and Kharkiv regions, up to 53,000 personnel are concentrated in the trenches and dugouts. They can only be really reached with cluster munitions, the analyst emphasized. Chernik expressed his belief that the Western partners can abandon the established red lines as they did previously regarding the supply of tanks and aircraft. At the same time, the analyst warned that the coming weeks and months will be decisive in the criminal war unleashed by Russia against Ukraine. According to him, persistent dry weather will allow the Ukrainian military to go on the offensive, break through the defense of the Russian Federation's occupation army, and advance to the northern Azov region. Chernik noted that such an operation could be carried out, provided a sufficient number of low-range ATACMS missiles, EW, artillery systems and modern Western fighters are obtained. If all four factors come together, we could break through the Surovikin line by conditional September. But here everything depends exclusively on the number of high-quality weapons, emphasized the analyst. According to him, the Ukrainian military launched a counter-offensive without air superiority last year. If Ukraine began to work with a large number of ammunition and missiles on the enemy's rear and railways in the south, the exhausted Russian army could be pushed out of this bridgehead. Zelensky believes his generals hides truth from him and took to shouting at them. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky believes his generals are hiding the truth from him and has taken to shouting at them, the economist has claimed citing a government source. Purported fits of presidential rage were mentioned in a report on the situation in the Kharkiv region where Russian forces have gained significant ground over the last month. According to the British News Weekly, Ukrainian troops deployed are angry at the development and have competing theories about the causes. Some blame the US and its allies for insufficient and untimely aid, not unlike Zelensky himself, while others suspect that incompetence or even treachery played a more significant role. There are also conspiracy theories about politicians in Kiev and Washington conspiring to sell the territory down the river ahead of an ugly peace deal. Denis Yaroslavsky, a local commander who made national headlines for complaining that fortifications that were supposed to prevent Russian advances did not really exist, told The Economist that Zelensky is being kept in a warm bath, that is, being told comforting lies by his aides. The Economist's anonymous government source said the president has been clashing with Ukrainian generals after allegedly sensing that he was not getting the whole truth about the frontline situation. Zelensky's strained relations with the military leadership, which reportedly stems from him putting his political goals ahead of military objectives, has previously been covered by Ukrainian and international media. In December, the newspaper Ukrainskaya Pravda claimed that the president was actively undermining Valery Zaluzny, who at the time was Ukraine's most senior general, in favor of Alexander Sirsky. It seems Zelensky has two kinds of troops, good ones, commanded by Sirsky and other favorites, and bad ones under Zaluzny, a source told the outlet. This demoralizes Zaluzny and prevents him from commanding the army as a whole. In February, the Ukrainian leader fired Zaluzny and appointed Sirsky as his replacement. Republicans accuse Biden administration of sending weapons to Kenya instead of Ukraine. U.S. Republicans have accused the Biden administration of bypassing Congress by transferring tens of millions of dollars in military equipment, which could have been used to assist Ukraine, to Kenyan troops stationed in Haiti, according to Politico. House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCork and Senate Foreign Relations Committee Ranking Member Jim Ricketts criticized the administration in a letter to Secretary of State Antony Blinken for accelerating the funding of 60 million US dollars in military aid to combat violent gangs wreaking havoc in Haiti through the use of presidential drawdown authority. This cargo contains firearms, ammo and armored vehicles for Kenyan troops traveling to the island. They are slated to arrive on Thursday, the same day that Kenyan President William Ruto talks with senior U.S. officials in Washington. The lawmaker's letter alleges that the U.S. administration is racing to fund an indefinite operation in Haiti without congressional consent. There is a growing concern that U.S. assistance to Haiti could cost Ukraine dearly, as the White House is also shipping equipment to Kiev directly from the Pentagon's stock piles. Nobody knows how long it will take to beat the gangs, which are getting more powerful and influential by the day. 
Armed services are conducting internal inventory audits to see what they can spare for Haiti, which puts it in direct competition with Ukraine for materials, Republican Party aid said. The United States is responding to multiple critical needs around the world and the scenarios in Ukraine and Haiti are different, said a State Department official who wished to remain anonymous. Supporting the people of Haiti does not limit or take away from our ability to support the people of Ukraine, he added. Both are important priorities and in each case, we identify support tailored to the needs of our partners.